gamers what's up i'm gwem and this is moral queen and together we're trying to set the record for the fastest max cape achieved on an iron account morally that's no alts boosting shop stocking dancing tanking or interacting with another account unless it's necessary to complete the content welcome back to the iron max cape speedrun moral percent now, last episode, we spent way too much money to finish the Artie Hard Diary, took way too much damage while bug abusing to complete the Desert Hard Diary, killed way too many lizard men to complete the Current Hard Diary, and settled down for a while in the Shiloh Gem Mine to get 80 mining. After that, we went off to Priscorilius to cut some gems and steal some artifacts to start building up the cash stack again. And that's where we start today. Now I don't hang out here for very long. I, I'm being a little too picky to just do a skill all the way to 99. Um, mostly due to me wanting to multi-skill and running out of supplies to zero time with, or running out of GP to buy things to zero time with, but hopefully if I get my act together and push through to some of the later levels here, I can really start steamrolling towards that max cave now. That said, now that we're past the early game, finally done with the vast majority of quests and diaries and chores, we're really starting to get into the long-term grinds. Which, you know, while I'm excited about because I enjoy the game and this is such a fun but kind of stressful but fun way to play the game, it means these videos are taking a lot longer to put together than they used to. Not that I'm complaining, really. It's easier for me to do 40 hours in a week when I'm not activity hopping every few hours, but the clips are getting further and further apart. So hey, if you want to give me a little motivation, uh, like and subscribe would be appreciated. And hey, maybe hit that join button if you want to get in on the members discord or the member streams like these wholesome and cool people have. I got level up message scammed by my own POH teleport, but there is 89 thieving. Woo! 77 crafting. Drumroll, please. Whoops. Or 90 thieving. This is the first level 90 on the account. Woo! That's a good one. And now we waste time making jewelry with the gems we just cut so that we can have a nice stack of Alks to take back to Sepulchre in a little bit. I don't know, I say it's a waste of time. If it wasn't worth doing, I wouldn't be doing it, of course. As long as I stick to the higher level gems, the ruby and diamond and such, it's a very easy way for me to build my cash stack without losing more time than I need to. Flashcards asked me the other day how much I expect to spend getting 2277 total, and I hadn't really done the math before then. Individual grind, sure, and there's numbers all over the internet that, you, that tell you exactly what you'll spend, but instead of putting strict numbers in my plan, I routed through some efficient GP methods and trusted that I'd do them enough to keep up with the GP requirements. For the most part, that's true, especially with Sepulchre, but on an account that can't AFK or PVM, I'm realizing there's quite a lot of GP I'm lacking and will continue to be lacking. With gold ore for smithing costing me about 51 mil, myth capes for construction instead of mahogany homes, that's another 50 mil, broad arrowheads for fletching is another almost 60 mil, efficient slayer is about break even instead of profiting. You know, making unfinished potions at Zahir and every other little cost that adds up along the way. I'm looking at about 170 mil raw GP spent to get the max cape on the low end. Realistically, a lot closer to 200 mil because of all the things I'm forgetting cost money. Um, and that's not even including buying the cape at the end, which I have to do, of course. Point is, I need money. And I don't think I'm going to get enough from Sepulchre and Runecrafting alone, so if I can supplement it with things that give me at least a decent chunk of XP towards other levels I need, then I will. Even if it feels pretty bad to do AFK crafting at a furnace. Sometimes it'd be like that, and that's okay. 
With a nice amount of alks made, we teleported back to the Hallowed Sepulchre and started pushing towards 90 Agility. Now, 90 Agility isn't huge. My main Agility goal right now is 92 to unlock Floor 5 of the Hallowed Sepulchre, which gives us a huge GP and XP per hour boost, but for now, I want to unlock ZMI. Now, you might be wondering what 90 Agility has to do with ZMI, but this is the old Iron Man classic gameplay of taking 30 unrelated steps before doing a new activity. ZMI uses a lot of run energy, and I don't have the magic level for a spellbook swap to use the Vile Vigor spell on the Arceus spellbook, while still being able to repair pouches and use the Arania teleport. And I don't want to make home teleport tabs to use my stamina pool in the POH every lap, because that would lose me a lot of XP per hour. So that means we need staminas. I can already boost to make the potions, and technically I could already boost my agility level above 90 for the course, but with 90 and a few agility potions I still have in the bank from earlier, I can get to a higher level and fail less. Plus, I like Sepulchre, I love an excuse to do more. Now I'll only be staying at the arty course for a few hundred stamina potions for now, just to give me the option to do ZMI when I want to, you know, when I want to change a pace. And then I'll be coming back to Sepulchre for 96 agility before I go for any more Marks of Grace. Once I get 96, I'll go back to the arty rooftop to get full Graceful because 96 is the no-fail level. And because Graceful is useful for things like Blast Furnace, 1.5 Take Teaks, Herb Runs, 3 Tick Gem Mining, but... That's all for the future. For now, we keep running Sepulchre. I'm kidding, I'm back already. I'm actually gonna go buy some uh, broad arrowheads. Just so I can get more XP while I'm doing Sepulchre. The headless arrows aren't doing it for me. I'm gonna make the number go up. I need to be satisfied. I think if you play an iron, you're probably relate to me on this, but there's a point where you have so many different options. You know how to play, what you want to do, what you could do, what you could potentially unlock, how that would change every other skill in a tiny way, you know, the routing, the way you want to do things. My brain just gets a little fizzled out when I get to this point every time, even with a pre-written plan in place. You know, I know what my goals are, I know how to get there, but every time I get back to the bank, whoops, after a herb run, I think, okay, what's next? <laughs> you know, there's just so many skills I want to do right now, and I want to skill hop and re-gear every 25 minutes and just, you know, just like the good old days. But I'm being good. I'm having a little restraint. <laughs> I just like the game too much to be happy. And there goes my kids' college funds. I need those total levels. Oh, I hit exactly 40k by accident feels pretty bad to make a whole point about needing money and then just spending the whole cash stack on a skill I don't really need right now, but whatever, it feels good and I need 99 fletching eventually, so heck it. I think I'm gonna get scammed a level up message here, but yep, there's 89 agility. One more to go. Whoa, nice. Woo, 79 fletching. And there's another level 80 for the collection. Oh my god, I don't even get the message. That's 90 agility! That's my second 90 on the account. Oh, that's so exciting. That means once I'm done with this lap, I'm gonna be done with Sepulchre again for a little while. Um, granted, whenever I need money, I'm just gonna come back anyway, but... I lied, I had to do one more for the sex number. Now, like I said earlier, I'm only gonna be here for a little bit just to get a few marks of grace, and there's not really much I can zero time while I'm here, so I'm just gonna elk a few rune bolts and not worry about it too much. You know, I'm not spending enough time here, well, now anyway, for it to be impactful overall, and it's big for the routing and the uh, not burning out, so we love that. There's 20 marks of grace. And 30. 40. 
Once we pick up these last two on the floor, we're going to be up to 50 marks of grace. It's not a ton, but it's 500 doses of stamina potion, which basically gives me the freedom to do ZMI whenever I want, which I appreciate. So once I'm done with this lap, I'm going to stop doing agility for a little while. And go do some ZMI. So this is a setup I started with, using bank fillers so I can deposit all without putting the items I need in the bank, of course. The setup isn't perfect right now. I haven't done much ZMI on accounts that can bank, so it'll get better later. <laughs> I'll talk about it more then, but for now, here is 76 ring crafting. And 77. Oh, that's 78 rune crafting. Don't know where I'm trying to teleport. By this point, I had it optimized basically as much as I can for now, using a lava staff and paying the bank man with air runes, and it's pretty enjoyable. ZMI is pretty chill. It's good XP, it's good runes, AFK for long enough to respond to people on Discord. I think I'm a big fan. Now, I can already hear a few commenters saying, but isn't ZMI group content? And I see why you're thinking that, because sometimes other people take the aggression from the NPCs in here, but that's not quite how it works. Unless you have alts splashing and constantly keeping them in combat, they switch targets so fast that it doesn't matter if other people are running past and taking aggro. Especially now that Guardians of the Rift exists. I'm using Entity Hider, so there's less stuff on the screen, but if you look at the minimap, you'll see how few people do this now, even on the Mass Worlds. Like, this this was the busiest ZMI Mass World. And I can see, what, like, three dots on the minimap? It's pretty bad. Plus, Mass Worlds are how the content was designed to be done, so I don't feel I'm losing any morality here unless I use ults to splash, but you see how often I get hit. Don't even act like I'm a cheater, I will find you. Can I get a round of applause for 79 rune crafting, please? I was gonna leave because I ran out of, uh, feathers and arrow shafts. I've gone through like 90k of them by this point. We're blitzing through them, honestly. Um, but I realize I'm about half an hour away from the first six hours I've ever done on this account, so I figured I might as well finish it and uh, get that record on Temple. Why not? I mean, it's going down now because I forgot to do stamina because I'm talking, so <laughs> we're doing great. We can get this last craft in before the nerd log. I don't know, sometimes it goes a little early. We're past the six hours. This is dangerous territory. Come on, be cool, Jagex. I mean, I feel like that has to be it, right? Yeah. All right, let's see what Temple says. Got the 409k six hour. When I wasn't going for a six hour, it's not bad. So I sold off a big stack of my runes to buy some broad arrowheads, which means there's 81 fletching. And here's another level 80 for the list. You don't get interrupted. That's, yep, 82 fletching. Yo, 85 mining. I don't have to boost for hard contracts anymore. Heck yeah. Finally get the uh, cool kids part in the farming guild. Come on, it's fair, it's time. Bucket, please. Not even white lily seeds. I haven't had a single one so far. And now we start the push for 92 agility. Trying to unlock the fifth floor of the sepulcher and run that for a little while. Build up GP. Start getting closer to that 99. Oh, 
Well, I wasn't expecting it there, but that's 91 agility. Just one more level until I can go down here and get way more XP and way more GP. Any buckets? Please? Nope. That's 92 agility, which means we can do floor 5 in the sepulcher. Of course, I got it after I left, but not a big deal. I'm getting around 67k XP per hour right now, and I'm going to reset that, and we'll see how much better this is going to be for me. I already messed up this floor. <laughs> Very cool. But that's for next episode, folks. Hey, if you liked the video, maybe like the video. Leave a comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I would appreciate it a lot. And maybe click that join button down below to become a member and come hang out in the streams and the Discord like these cool people have. A huge shout out here to my Gwemperers, Cold Z and Flashy C. Your support is the rock by which I make port in Great Storms. My Gwemlin Supremes, Darby, Metaka, Vintage Tops, and Mark, who without, I would be a mere husk of the person I am now. My three lucky Gwemlins this week are Haya, Cody, and Rachel, but of course without all of the Gwemlins, my existence would be a shadow of what I hope it to be. And everyone at the support tier, it means the world that you would join at any level, and I appreciate all of you. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.